I'm going to show you how to make the free Christmas bauble from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 4x4 hoop, two layers of wash waste stabiliser, a selection of threads, one with a matching bobbin for the satin stitch border, some pins with heads on them, my squizzers, some masking tape and my batting and fabrics cut to size. I'm not going to be adding a hanging loop to my bauble. You can if you wish. The reason I'm not is because I'm going to show you how to turn it into a really pretty greetings card after we finish stitching it. You're going to start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. And then we're going to pin around the top edge of the hoop and that will stop our stabiliser from going slack because it's being pulled down between the two frame parts. So take your pin, rest it on top of the inside frame, push it through your stabiliser, bring it round and back through the stabiliser again and that will anchor it and you're going to do that on all four sides. The bigger your hoop the more pins you will use. Load your file for the bauble into your machine along with the thread colour for your quilting and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting. I'll be using a slightly different colour for mine because I want you to be able to see it. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches of course. Place your front fabric over the outline and tape it in place. You're now going to stitch round number three and that's going to secure your fabric to the hoop. Making sure that you've got your thread colour for the quilting loaded into your machine, you're now going to stitch round number four. I'm using monofilament so that the quilting is there but it doesn't stick out against my fussy fabric. Load your thread colour for the words Merry Christmas into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number five and I'm going with gold for this. Load your thread colour for the date 2021 into your machine. I'm staying with gold and then you're going to stitch round number six. If you don't want to add the date you can skip this colour if you want to. You would have to look up in your user manual or on a YouTube video on how to do this on your machine if you don't know how to do it already. You're now going to add your batting so turn your hoop over and place your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Load your matching bobbin and thread colour for the satin stitching into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number seven and that's going to secure your fabrics to the hoop. Trim away the excess fabric from both back and front of your hoop, starting on the back, so turn your hoop over and trim away, taking care of course not to cut your stitches. Load your matching bobbin and thread colour for the satin stitch around the edge of your bauble and the fill at the top here into your machine. And then you're going to stitch round number eight. Now that the stitching is done, I'm going to free this from the hoop. Now 
We're now going to uh, dissolve the excess stabilizer from around the edge. So take a cotton bud and some warm water, dip it in and just wipe it around the edge. And that's our bauble finished. I'm now going to show you how to turn it into a card. I've got some copy paper, a piece of 250 gram card, some score tape, which is double sided tape if you're not sure, uh, my stitch unpicker, my bauble, some clear filament and some greeting stickers and some corner stickers and these are all available on Amazon should you need to get any. Even if you're not craftsy you can do this card very easily and they take minutes. Okay so let me put these aside for a minute. The first thing that you're going to do is cut your paper insert to 29 centimeters by 14.5 and I will add the conversions and the dimensions in the video description below so don't worry about it for now. I've cut my card to 30 centimeters by 15 and then I've just folded them in half and we're going to prepare the insert first so that's the paper piece. You're going to want to add some score tape down the edge here and this is the folded edge and it's going to be on the back of your card. So I'm just going to add one strip. And it doesn't have to be too pretty because it's not going to be seen. Okay. Then we are going to add the greeting inside. So I've got my stickers here and my, where is it gone, my unpicking tool, stitch unpicker and we're just going to use that so that we can position them and I've got several different greetings on here and I'm going to go for uh, best wishes I think. So. Best and just lift them off and center them. I can't see what I'm doing, so this is likely to be very, very wonky, but you can do a better job than I am. <laughs> so that's our insert all ready to use. I'm going to put that aside. We're now going to do the uh, front of the card, excuse me, the front of the card. So I've got my corner stickers. And all I'm going to do, same as the for the wording inside, lift them off. I try not to handle them too much because otherwise they lose their stick. That's why I use a tool. And then just place them down. And I'm going to add one to each corner. Oops. If you can try and get them an even gap all the way round, even better. And that is awful. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Ah, I don't want to stick to my tool, that's why. Okay. Doesn't help when you can't see either. <laughs> okay, now for the other edges. On lift, 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 lift. That's better. There we are. Okay, it's not too tragic. <laughs> So I'm now going to add the Merry Christmas sticker and I'm going to put that across here because it's only tiny writing so uh, what should we have? Happy Christmas. Yeah. Okay. 
and you can place them wherever you like and take your time there's no hurry happy and Christmas hopefully that that doesn't look too wonky it's fine we're now going to um, be placing our uh, bauble in the center of our card I've attached some monofilament um, and I've just put it through the center of the top of the satin stitching here and tied a knot there's the knot and I'm pulling the knot to the back and that will tuck round so that it doesn't detract from the card had I put some a loop on there of ribbon or something um, it could be hanging off the card and it wouldn't look so pretty so I prefer to use monofilament and I'm now going to add some score tape just to hold it onto the card like so so I'm going to remove the, the tape and you can guarantee that it's not going to want to come off <laughs> I love card making especially when the tape doesn't want to cooperate and it never does does it <laughs> okay so I'm going to wrap that over to the back place that oops place this down onto the score tape trying to get it central of course The recipient can now pull that off when they receive it and put it on their tree. So we're now going to add the insert. And we want to add this so that it sits central. I'm going to remove, turn this around so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to hold that up a little bit so that I can see the crease that's more or less central I think and of course you can do a far better job because you haven't got a camera under your nose trying to get in the way and I'm going to press that down and there's the insert really quick really easy and kids would love doing this as well Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below, along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well.